This is the Introduction to Accounting video lecture. And in this lecture, we're going to be talking about the accounting profession and also some basic principles of accounting, some organizations that are involved in accounting, and get a good overview of the profession of accounting and everything that's involved in terms of the responsibilities of an accountant. Now, the very first question that a lot of people have is simply what is accounting and many different people have defined accounting in different ways but if you really boil it down to its essence ultimately accounting is a way of recording and then communicating information and if you think about it in a day-to-day -day business there are many different transactions that occur they are buying things they are selling things they are paying expenses, they're collecting money, and every time one of these events happens, it has an effect on the company financially. And as accountants, we have to record that. So every change, every financial transaction has to be documented and has to be recorded. But even that's not enough. Once it is recorded, then it has to be communicated. So we have to have a way of taking that information and then presenting that information to the people so that they can look at that information and hopefully it will tell a story about where that company stands financially. And it will help people understand the financial position of the company. And ultimately, it will help people make decisions. So the people who are going to use this accounting information, they can actually be classified. And we actually have two different classifications, two different types of users. And they are both internal and external. So the first group would be the internal users. And these are going to be all the individuals that actually work for the company. So these are insiders, and these are going to be people like managers, supervisors, pretty much anyone in the company that has a decision-making role. And hopefully, what they're going to do is use the information that we provide as accountants, and that information will help them make better decisions. So those are the internal users. But we also have quite a few people who fall under this additional category, the category of external users. And these are the people who are outsiders. These people do not actually work for the business, but they still rely on the information because they are still making decisions that do have an effect on the business, even though they do not actually work for the business. So, for example, lenders, you know, they would be a classic example. If we apply for a loan, then, of course, the lender is going to look at our financial statements, and they're going to judge our company based on that information. They're going to analyze the information, and then they're going to potentially make a decision about whether or not to lend us money. Same thing with investors. If there's someone out there that is looking to invest in a company, they're going to look at our financial information and they're going to draw some sort of conclusion about whether or not we would be a worthwhile investment. So there are lots of outsiders that are just as interested in the financial information as the people who work for our company are. The next item we need to talk about would be job opportunities in accounting. There are many different careers out there that are available and of course a lot of people are interested in knowing what some of the job opportunities are. And some of them are obvious and some of them are not so obvious. So when you think about accounting, most people tend to think about record keeping, bookkeeping, they think about payroll, processing, they think about income tax, preparation, things of that nature. And there are a lot of job opportunities available 
that involve that type of accounting. But at the same time, there are job opportunities that perhaps you have not thought about. For example, you could become an auditor. And if you work as an auditor, you would be traveling from company to company and you would actually be checking the financial statements to make sure that they're correct. Or you could even get a job working as an appraiser where you go around and look at property and look at real estate and you come up with an appraised value for that property. Or you could even get a job in law enforcement. For example, if you're interested in becoming an FBI agent, FBI training requires that you have a college degree and there are only two college degrees that they accept and those are criminal justice and accounting. And a lot of people are surprised to hear that the FBI Academy accepts accounting degrees. But if you think about it, it makes sense because a lot of law enforcement involves paperwork. It involves looking at phone records, looking at bank records, looking at surveillance footage. And who better suited to do that type of work than a meticulous, organized accountant? So there's lots of job opportunities that are in the public eye, things that are obvious, but there are many that are not so obvious. And then, of course, there's the fact that we have a lot of diversity. There are actually accounting job opportunities in every industry. So it doesn't matter if it is a coal company, a natural gas company, it could be a college, it could be a public uh, school system, it could be a hospital, it could be a medical clinic, no matter what type of business it is, and no matter what industry it's in, they all need accountants because they're all going to be making money, spending money, handling money, and all that has to be recorded and reported. So many different careers, many different opportunities are available for someone who is interested in pursuing that accounting degree. The next thing we're going to talk about are some accounting standards. And of course, every job, every profession has a certain professional standard of conduct. And accounting is no exception. We have rules for accounting that we have to follow, and we have a standard in accounting that needs to be upheld. And there's a very important reason for that standard. And to understand that reason, you have to first think about individual people. If you think about it, as individuals, we all have our own system. We all have our own way of doing things. And the way one person does something would not necessarily be the way that another person would do that same task. So when it comes to paperwork, and especially personal financial records, everyone has their own system. Some people are very organized, very meticulous. If you uh, talk to that person about their finances, they know exactly how much money they have. They know exactly what their bills are. They can always anticipate what their bills are going to be. If they need to find some type of a document or a financial paper, they know exactly where to find it. And then there are other people on the other end of the spectrum who are totally disorganized. There are people who don't really have a good sense of control on their finances. They don't necessarily know how much money they have. They don't necessarily know what the bills are going to be as they come in. They don't necessarily know where to find the financial information that they need. And then, of course, there are people at all levels in between. But on an individual basis, that's how things work. Now think about that, and then think about the level of business organization. If we allowed businesses to have their own system of bookkeeping, every business would have their own system. It would be completely inconsistent, and we can't have that. So that's why we have to have accounting standards. And the idea is that by having these standards, Every business will have consistency and accuracy. 
every business will consistently record things the same way and when they do so it will be accurate and correct so that's really the purpose for our accounting standards so if you want to talk about the specific accounting standards that we follow then we need to talk about something called GAAP G-A-A-P GAAP stands for the Generally Accepted Accounting Principles and these are the rules that we follow as accountants the entire purpose of these rules is to make sure that accounting as a profession is applied consistently so that no matter where you work no matter what business it is you are recording things with consistency and also with accuracy and as we move throughout the semester and as you look at other videos and you work on assignments there are going to be many things that we will do specifically because of GAP because of those rules now the next thing we're going to talk about are some accounting organizations. There are several different organizations that are very important to accounting and we need to be familiar with each one of these organizations and we need to know a little bit about what they are and what they are responsible for. The first organization is called FASB, F-A-S-B. FASB stands for the Financial Accounting Standards Board and this is a very important organization for accountants. This organization is responsible for the rules of accounting. So earlier when we talked about GAAP, Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, this is where those rules come from. They come from the FASB. This group is responsible for creating those rules. And not only are they responsible for that, they're also responsible for evaluating the standards. Because from time to time, as things change, we have to go back and look at the rules and see if they're still appropriate. So they are constantly evaluating and reviewing these rules to make sure that they are the best rules that we need to be following. So that's why FASB is such an important group in the accounting profession. Then we have another group which is known as the GASB, G-A-S-B, and this is the Governmental Accounting Standards Board. A very similar group to the FAS, but a little bit different. This group is another organization that evaluates and sets standards, but the key difference is they set the standards for government agencies. So if it is the federal government, the state or local government, any branch of the government, all the reporting that they do, they are following the GASB standards according to Governmental Accounting Standards Board. 